Okay, so in a large document like a thesis, we very often want to separate out uh, different sections and number those different sections accordingly. So, for example, in a, th in a thesis, there may be some preamble text like table of contents, acknowledgements, abstract, and so on. That'll be numbered with Roman numerals. And then in the main text, uh, which will be numbered with ordinal numbers, one, two, three. And then appendix text, which will be numbered separately and just given a prefix A to indicate that it's an appendix. So the question is, how do we go about setting up the page structure so that we can incorporate these different page numberings? So if I click on the first page here, and I go to the Insert tab, so excuse me, Page Layout tab, on this uh, uh, page, there is a uh, bricks. Now, it's just I'll just make this window a bit bigger for the moment, just so it comes out. You'll normally see it like this, bricks. So you can insert, break, and next page. Okay, so I'll just bring the window back in. So if we normally, well, if I zoom in, you'll see here, because I have the paragraph marks shown, okay, it's showing me here that I have section break. If I go to the second page, I'll just zoom back out again. I go to the second page and do the same thing. Page layout, breaks, next page. What this has done now is said this is one section, this is another section, and this is the third section. So obviously, if we go now and incorporate page numbers, we'll be able to number those page pages uh, for these sections differently. So if I click on the first section and go to insert, uh, page number, bottom of page in the center, it uh, gives me a page number at the bottom of the page. Before I zoom in on that, you'll see that on the second and third page, it has same as previous, same as previous. That means if we were to modify this footer here, this footer will update because it says same as previous. So if I click on that same as previous and remove that link to previous, and do the same for the third section, that means I can modify the first footer and the second footer won't follow on from the first first footer. So I'm going to zoom in now on this first page, this preamble page. And you see here, here's my page number. And what I want to do is change this to uh, Roman numerals. So I'll click on page number um, in the header and footer tools or else in insert page in the page number uh, button. It's here as well, format page number. So design, page number, format page number, and I've got to change the style here to one, two, three. Okay, so if I zoom back out, and I go to the second page, you see the second page hasn't changed because it's linked. To, it's not linked to the previous anymore. With the second page, then I can go again, page number, format page number, and now it says continue from previous section. I don't want to do that. I want to start at one, and I want the number format to be one, two, three. So that'll give me page one. I'll just scroll back up to the previous section. You see this is Roman numerals. This is page one. And if I scroll down to the to the uh, appendix section, I've got here, if I go to page number, format page number, again, I don't want to continue from the previous section. I want to start at one, and now I'm going to just type in A hyphen, and that'll give me this uh, appendix one. So if I click back on the main text, zoom back out so you can see all three. You can't make it out here, but I'll zoom in. You can see this is page Roman numeral one, this is page ordinal number one, and this is page A1. And if I go here and insert a uh, page break and zoom in on that page, you'll see this is A2. So that's a way of setting up the document so that you can number different pages of the sections accordingly.